Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Court Show. I'm your host, Robert. The National Wrestling Alliance NWA Win Our Shadows Fall Preview. This Sunday on Fight TV and on Pay Per View, we have the National Wrestling Alliance Pay Per View. The National Wrestling Alliance NWA has been around 1948, if not earlier, is one of the oldest wrestling organizations in business today. Billy Corgan what, through 2017, I think it was, purchased them and has trying to been brought back the NWA. Um, their weekly show on Fight TV, NWA Power, and then NWA Power Surge, it's kind of an old school studio show. Um, when they do have a crowd, they literally have to have a crowd on one side, it's an old school studio. And takes you back to the 70s and 80s of wrestling. It's not what we're used to. Um, I watch it. I do watch their pay-per-views as well. Um, there's some good things there. I mean, there's some talent there that's kind of, eh. Um, there's also some good young talent there as well. If we look at this card, um, we have tag matches. We have a women's match. A couple of women's, two women's matches. The world title. We have tag titles on the line. So we're going to run down this card. So first match, we have a four-way number one contender match for the NWA Tag Team Championships. We have Sauer Naro teaming up with Sam Rudo versus Slice Boogie and Marche Rocket versus Bestie 666 teaming up with Mega Wolf versus The End, um, Poro and Adonna, uh, what's his name? Big guy, yeah, Adonis, I think it is. Um, but the end, they've been around the Indies for a long time. They've been involved and everything. Big tough team. They remind me a lot of the Road Warriors. Um, so I'm actually picking the end to win this. I mean, they're one of the best tag teams in, in the Indies. Next up, we have Fred uh, Rose, Rouser, Rosser, Fred Ross. I can't talk today. Fred Rosser versus JTG. Yes, that same JTG. Um, I have Fred Rosser winning that. Uh, next up, we have the NWA television title on the line. We have champion The Pope, D'Angelo De Niro, versus Tyrus. Now, the one thing about the NWA television title, um, this was an old-school NWA title that they recreated, but they don't have the same lineage because WWE owns the heritage of that title because it went from the NWA the Jim Crockett Promotions to WCW and then WWE bought WCW. So this title began in 2019. It's got a six minute and five second rule. Yes, the match will be six minutes and five seconds. So whoever whoever has the pinfall for that wins or goes title on the draw. Now, if the Pope defends his title six times, I believe it is, and retains it each time, he can cash it in for a world title shot at 10 pounds of gold. Um, I have the Pope retaining his title here. Next up, we have a women's tag match. We have Melina teaming up with Thunder Rosa versus Kylie Ray and Taryn Terrell. I got a team of Melina and Thunder Rosa winning. We have the NWA tag titles on the line. We have champion Aaron Stevens and J.R. Kronos, which they've actually been feuding here each other. <laughs> So I think they're kind of blown up versus the strictly business team of Chris Adonis and Tom Tom Lattimore. And then versus the War Kings, which is Crimson and Jack Staines. The War Kings were actually used to be managed by Road Warrior Animal before his passing. I actually had strictly business, Chris Adonis and Tom Lattimore winning this. More about strictly business as we go on in this card. Because I think they're actually going to win a couple titles and lose a title. Next up, we have the NWA Women's World Championship on the line. We have champion Serena Deeb, who retained versus Rio at AEW's Double or Nothing. Going up against the number one contender, Camille. Um, I actually have Camille winning this and becoming a new NWA Women's Champion. Um, she's actually got a lot better in the ring than she was. She's been a bodyguard for the NWA World Champion, Nick Adonis. She's part of Strictly Business. Our, Nick Aldis, excuse me. 
And so, but I think Camille will win this. She's gotten a lot better in the ring recently. It's going to be a decent little match. And so, new NWA Women's Champion, Camille. Next up, we have the NWA World Heavyweight title on the line, the 10 pounds of gold. Champion Nick Aldis versus Trevor Murdoch. Both of these gentlemen were trained by Harley Race, a former 10 pounds of gold NWA World Champion winner. Right now, because of the pandemic and everything, Nick Aldis has held the NWA World title 951 plus days. It is the sixth longest title run since in history. It's the longest since 1995 when Dane Severin held it 1,479 days. He was the NWA champion. The NWA and TNA started uh, doing partnership. And because the NWA championship went over to TNA and Dane Severin would not defend it on TNA television, he was stripped of it. Um, I actually have Trevor Murdoch winning this. Um, it's been a lot of feud here in the last few months on power with Murdoch and how Nick Aldis said he's not the champion material. and So I think they're actually going to go ahead and put the title on Murdoch. My guess is I'll give it right back to Nick Aldis or give it to someone else. But I do see in this particular moment they will put the title on Trevor Murdoch. Maybe that's when Kenny Omega goes after it. You know, the belt collector from AEW since they've been doing some stuff in the NWA. I know I see the meme on on Twitter. Um, somebody said something about Nick, Aldis, Nick uh, Aldis versus Kenny Omega for the NWA title. And uh, the NWA said, that's fine, have Tony call us. <laughs> so it's like, okay, uh, it was Cody versus him. So, you know what, I'm all for these companies working together. But yeah, so that's the NWA win, our Shadows Fall preview. Stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the review. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.